सोल्यूशन ऑफ शोडेनियर वेव क्वेश्चन बाय यूजिंग बाय यूजिंग दी सेपरेट टेबल वेरिएबल टेक्निक्स ओके एंड व्हाट इज दी सेपरेट टेबल वेरिएबल टेक्निक्स दिस दिस एग्जांपल मे बी यू हैव स्टडीड इन द कोर्स ऑफ एम एम पी वन ओके सो दैट इज एक्जेक्टली दैट इज दॉब्लम इज लाइक दैट दैट विच इज डिस्कस इन दी एम एम पी वन मैथमेटिकल मैथड वन ओके एंड Uh, this in this uh, lectures we will what will we will discuss we will discuss about the time dependent schrodinger wave equation um, i think i must mention uh, today what will be we covered uh, uh, time dependent schron uh, equation and time independent okay and we will discuss why the quant uh, velocity in quantum mechanics is uh, different and uh, uh, why the velocity in quantum mechanics is different than classical mechanics velocity okay and we will discuss the uh, how we will uh, how we may overcome on this problem okay so uh, uh, how we may overcome on this difference okay and there are many 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 things uh, all related to what is the eigen value uh, eigen value of time dependent equation what is the eigen value of uh, time independent equation why the energy is uh, why uh, e is equal to h cut omega and this and this and this okay so actually by doing uh, this exercise which i have already discussed in the uh, mmp1 and uh, so we will get the answer of all these uh, uh, these questions in the two day lectures okay so so uh start the solution okay okay uh firstly we uh, as we know that firstly we have to write the differential equation schrodinger wave differential equation what is that i have already uh, explained why that is uh, minus uh, सॉरी ई इज एटा एच कट कर ली एच कर ली टी एंड पी इज ओके ओके दिस विल बी अ फॉर अफ फ्री ठीक है ओके बिकॉज फॉर अफ फॉर इंटरेक्टिंग पार्टिकल इफ बिकॉज लास्ट इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट Uh, if that is a varying then that will be a perturbation technique will be used okay and we will discuss it i hopefully uh, um, we will discuss uh, uh, maybe in a qm2 or uh, after completion this semester okay so, uh, maybe uh, we were not able to discuss this in the, uh, the solution of differential equation for interacting particle in this semester okay present okay so what will be the p that is minus eta h cut curly by curly uh, x okay uh, q okay in generalized coding and that will be q uh, okay uh, so h hamiltonian uh, which is uh, equal to uh,
ओके ओके हेमल्टोनियन इज एक्चुअली दी एनर्जी ऑपरेटर ओके सो दिस विल बी एटा एच कार्ड कर ली बाई कर ली टी आई आई डोंट नो वट इज दी एक्साई ओके सो वी नाउ दैट वट इज दी एक्साई बट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल एज्यूम दैट वी डोंट नो वट इज दी एक्साई बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड दी वैल्यू ओके आई नाउ दैट यू आर अ वेरी इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट एंड यू नाउ दैट दी वैल्यू बट okay for this problem that will be uh, uh, minus 1 square is plus 1 eta square is equal to minus eta minus eta uh, so min, uh, minus 1 sorry minus 1 h cut square uh, uh, if this is mass is constant because we are considering the non relativistic mechanics not a relativistic mechanics and we know that uh, for relativistic we uh, we have to use the quantum field theory not uh, quantum mechanics quantum mechanics is not consistent with the relativistic mechanics okay why that is not consistent i have already explained in the, my previous lecture so that will be uh, 2m plus uh, 2m not x uh, sorry q square okay plus uh, vq and uh, this is okay okay as uh, as we know that this uh, is a uh, differential operator with respect to time and this uh, uh, all is the differential operator uh, uh, jo uh, this is all the differential operator to m no i am not here not a square i think so uh as this is a time and this is a, a position dependent q is a position generalized in generalized coordinate is, is position this is time and that both all is a non relativistic okay so this psi will be uh, this psi that is a wave vector that will be actually the function of q and t okay so this will become a this uh, this will be function of q and t because left hand side is the function of psi and this uh, is depending upon the uh, position so that will be function of uh, q and t okay so we may replace uh, this uh, uh, this uh, psi as a function of q and t okay and this will be also a q and t okay okay clear yes clear anyway from uh, separation of variable technique you know that if the something is a function of two variable uh what you do in this uh, in the mmp1 separation eh yeah? no if two if uh, q and t is if uh, if f is function of alpha and beta if f, f is the function of two variable alpha and beta okay when you may write it uh, as a phi alpha and uh, phi beta mean they may be the they may be written as the product of two uh, variables with uh, but it is only possible when the when the alpha and beta is uh, the dot product is zero mean they, uh, they are independent as we know that position and uh, time is independent so we may divide in similarly if uh, i uh, uh, because this psi is function of uh, position and velocity and position and velocity is independent so therefore we can uh, separate it uh, as uh, the product of the two uh, eh, no it is up to you if you want to write uh, in the form of uh, this is up to you or you may write as i mostly prefer that q mean q function of q okay and t means function of 
thing. I mostly uh, prefer to write in this way. Okay. Uh, you may define it, this is phi and this is phi, but I mostly like to this line. See, Q, Q mean uh, that is the function of Q and position, and T mean this is a function of T. I don't know what you have done in the uh, lecture in MMP one. Okay. So this may be right. Why we can write because uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, position and time is independent in non latency Okay, in non lateralistic mechanics, in a, this is a non lateralistic so that uh, okay, we are considering only non lateralistic. Okay, so when you put this all values because it can be right in this form, you uh, in separatable variable technique, you must put it in this equation. Okay. When you will put it, uh, then uh, you will get uh, eta h cap curly by curly t. That will be, uh, uh, you must remember that this is the equation, if you say this is the equation x, this equation is 1, okay. Or you may say that that is a, okay. Like to write the alphabetic. Okay. So if you put it, uh, then Q Q uh, T T at cut care over two M naught Q square plus uh, V Q naught. Okay, so this will become a this, and we know that this is uh, the partial derivative t. So this will be uh, constant with the partial according to partial derivative definition of the partial derivative, and so it will become uh, uh, so it will become outside because this is constant. Similarly, when we apply this, and uh, this uh, t will become out. Okay, because uh, t will be constant with the all the variables. Uh, okay. So uh, finally, you will get uh, h cut t t okay partial uh, q q over partial t. Oh, sorry, uh, h cut. Uh, Q Q will become out, and this will become a uh, partial P over T. Okay, and uh, the right hand side uh, T T will become out. And uh, you will get at cut care uh, two M naught okay, and uh, This is the result. Okay. Uh, uh, we can divide this uh, with respect to T. Okay, and uh, and this will move toward this. Okay. 
Uh, when things are multiplying, when you shift it from left to right, then that will be divided, okay? Uh, so, you will get ota h cut uh, curly by curly t. Not um, I know the mostly teachers do this uh, like uh, something I know the some teachers do that uh, uh, this is because the same they can be divided uh, this kind. Yes, this is true? No, because uh, this is operating on this, okay? When things are operate, there is an operator, then you can't, uh, so this is a, uh, a wrong, okay? So this is a wrong, okay? So you can't do right this, okay? Like this. Always remember this. When there is an operator, you can't uh, cancel, okay? So this is wrong, okay? Uh, I have tried this only to catch your attention. If some students are sleeping, they can wake up. Okay. Is there anyone who is sleeping? No, sir. Okay. Okay. So. So this uh, will be equal to this, okay? I think, uh, uh, okay, the, uh, um, if you uh, try to uh, observe the left and right side, that is very easily to observe that the uh, left hand side is function of uh, T and right hand side is the function of Q, okay, uh, there is no Q is involved in left side and there is no uh, T is involved at right side, okay. So left, it mean uh, this implies that left hand side is the function of T only and uh, right hand side is function of Q only. Yes. Okay. Not Q. Position. Okay. Okay. So, if left side is the function of P only, okay, and right here, there is no Q involved, okay, and this is the function of uh, uh, Q only, okay, no T is involved. So it means if we consider both are equal, if uh, two things are equal, then it means they will be, uh, they will be equal because uh, they are, uh, after uh, solving these, they will be equal to such thing that is not even function of position, not function of T, because Q and T is the independent. They, that will be equal to constant, okay? That both will be equal to the constant because left hand side is the function of T only, so, uh, and right is the function of Q. So both will be equal to the, uh, some constant that is the function of Q and T. Means, uh, the uh, uh, line mean that is that is not function of q 
that may be function of anything other but that is not function of uh, 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 the uh, um, not position neither it is a function of position neither it is not its function of time okay got it so the both equation will be equal to this okay so uh, this will be is also equal to this this will be also equal to this I have divided it. Okay, this is multiplying. That is divided. This is multiplying with the when it goal is here. That would be fine. Got it, Farwa? Nice. This coat hake me either lege. Uske niche divide kar. Or this coat hake uske niche. Baki same. Okay. Have you got it now? Nice. Two x equal to three uh, y. May we write as x three y two? Yes. Now you got it. Okay. Okay. So all the uh, this uh, slash mean that is the constant with respect. Okay. Uh, so this left hand side will be constant with respect to position. Uh, sorry, the left and right side will be constant because left side is the function of t only. And the, so uh, if we get the after integrating, if we get the constant, then that constant will be independent from the position. And uh, if, from here we get the constant which uh, must be independent. From here we get the constant which must be independent from t. And from here we can't. Uh, the constant which must be a constant with respect to t. So this t will be constant with respect to both, as well as position, as well as the time. Okay. I think uh, you are uh, okay. Got it. Okay. So now uh, let's move. Okay. So both are equal to c. So uh, I may write uh, this equal to c q cut t cut. Okay. So that. Both will be equal to this. Okay, I have sandwiches between them, taking the advantage of the white code. Okay. Yes, I, I think I have mentioned from starting. I have mentioned that we are you separate table variable. That is exactly the lecture. Which your teacher have been discussed in the uh, mathematical method one, no, uh, not new math, new technique. Take okay, that's exactly that technique. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, they are, they become a two equations. Okay. So uh, one is the. Uh, Aorta H cut uh, curly by uh, uh, T over T oh, oh sorry okay is equal to plus 1 aorta square equal to minus yeah. minus i minus 
नहीं माइनस वन का स्केल लिया तो वो वन हो गया ठीक है माइनस वन का स्केल लिया तो वन हो गया एटा का स्केल लिया तो माइनस वन तो यहाँ माइनस आएगा ठीक है तो ही इज राइट एंड दी अदर इज एच कट माइनस एच सॉरी माइनस एच स्केयर क्यू स्केयर टू एम नॉट प्लस वी क्यू नॉट सी so you will get two equation okay this is one and this is uh, two okay. these operators are applying on this state giving this okay and when this state uh, uh, when this operator is applying on this this is giving this okay state is fixed Okay, so C is what is the C? Nay, yes, but in other can, uh, sense, I am uh, uh, according to quantum mechanics. Okay, uh, no. Look at again. Okay, this is operator C. Okay. Okay, this operator is applying this state, giving this value, and this. state is repeated this ha yes this operator is applying on this and giving this value and this okay so this c is a actual the eigen value of uh, so c which is q cut t cut is actually the eigen value of equation 1 as well as equation 2 okay because it uh, operator is applying on this state and that is giving the the, space, the uh, there is no change in state okay and the eigen value will be c okay so c is eigen value so uh and one is defined as uh, um, while one is defined as time dependent schro linear equation and uh, two is the fine as because it is time independent so that's why that is defined as time independent that is the difference okay but both have the same eigen value okay but state is different but uh, have eigen value is will be same okay is the final time independent and this is time dependent nothing else while equation 1 is defined as time dependent and uh, and 2 is defined as time independent okay so Okay. Uh, first, we will solve the equation one and then equation two. Okay. First, please consider the equation one. Equation. Firstly, we will consider time dependent unit. Okay. First, we will consider one. 
what is that time dependent firstly we consider time dependent okay so uh, that will be eta x cut I wait I uh, again write it in the old form okay so okay and uh, when I transfer this h cut here sorry and I shift this uh, eta h cut here okay then uh, 1 by eta will be minus eta h cut point divided by eta is minus eta okay yes and uh, so uh, you will get minus eta h cut uh, c uh, q cut and t cut okay integrating both uh, side with respect to time zero to t not zero to t not uh, zero to t yes Oh, ah, yeah, there is t naught initial if initial time is t naught to t t naught to t. Okay, so this will be equal to this. Okay, on c is the according to this cost uh, integration. This is an integration with respect to t, and this c is constant with respect to t because I have. Uh, Put it the cut mean that is constant with respect to so, so that it will be come out from the sign of integration and that will be minus eta h cut c q cut uh, t cut and that will be a dt and uh, okay okay and. Uh, Uh, so uh, the nominator is function derivative function with respect to time uh, that is uh, dt this dt may be cancelled with this t okay this dt may be cancelled this dt cancel uh, may cancel with this dt okay so when you will cancel the uh, at the denominator there is function at nominator that is the derivative if, if uh, the nominator is function and the uh, upper is uh, derivative then that will be a log okay so that will be a natural log uh, so you, you will get uh, the natural log uh, and uh, here is minus eta h cut uh, c q cut and t cut and that will be uh, sorry this is t naught to t so this will be uh, dt this will be a uh, t, uh, t minus t naught okay this will be equal to this okay and uh, I have to put I, I don't know uh, I think I have to write because many times I have tried to solve the uh, save my time and uh, my energy by uh, by by avoiding to do some steps. But again, I have to face the question and then I have to do that and I have to waste my energy. So that's why I will do, and that will be a, a natural log of uh, t t. Okay. 
and minus natural log of uh, t naught. Okay. Okay. And this is minus eta h cut c q t naught. We don't know what is the c. Okay, up till yet. Okay. Um, negative log, uh, it's uh, log, we know that uh, log, uh, natural log of B minus natural log of A is equal to log of B divided by A, okay? Yes, um, because we know that, okay? Do you know it? Okay, so... So, uh, so according to this formula, you will get uh, natural log uh, t t naught. Sorry, t t. Uh, and uh, T naught that will be equal to minus eta h cut uh, C is a constant T is constant uh, C is constant with respect to T and T naught and that will be a T minus T naught ok that is the natural log uh, uh, to remove this when you take the anti log then that will become exponential I, uh, we have uh, already done it many and many times that uh, this will be a exponential of uh, minus yota h cut uh, c q cut t cut and uh, this is uh, multiplying with the uh, t minus t naught okay t naught is a constant okay so this will be change in time uh, this will be a uh, actually uh, and so the uh, this will be the eigenstate of the uh, 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 the uh, time dependent schrodinger wave what is the this is eigenstate yes eigenstate of the time dependent schrodinger wave question okay so Okay, uh, but C is arbitrary constant up till now. Uh, that's why we can't say that that is the complete answer of the eigenstate. We have firstly we have to find what is the C. We don't know the uh, up till yet. We don't know what is the C. Okay. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. You know that. Uh, the state mean the wave function, okay? We have already explained it many, many times. And, uh, okay. As we know that, uh, I have already explained is, if we, uh, we know that uh, uh, exponential of uh, aorta uh, 2 pi n uh, aorta, that will be equal to 1. Yes, that is equal to 1. So, uh, if we multi uh, multiply with this and that will be add because I, everything is a constant. So, uh, there is no operator. Uh, t, t, minus, uh, t minus t naught is also a variable. Okay, C is also a variable. Uh, Iota is constant. H cut is constant. So, nothing operator is there. So, non-commutative kaswal bini patha hota. If there is a non-commutativity, you know that exponent, there, there will be something, many, many things, okay. So, I have already explained. If this, everything is a constant, if, if we know that T is also constant, T is not operator, okay. So, no operator is involved. So, all things, all these things are, a, 
all these things uh, and uh, all these are uh, will be commuting if commuting if e a and e b is commuting they may write as a plus b oh good so sorry we know that e a and e b if we multiply both that will be a plus b plus eta h cut uh, commutation relation of b okay and plus uh, higher order of a uh, and b okay we have already explained it many and many times so that will that but uh, if a and b are commuting then these all the, uh, the factors will be a zero but uh, uh, if uh, a uh, and b are zero mean they are commuting if they uh, mean if they are commuting then all these sums become a uh, uh, zero Okay, for commuting. Okay, so in this case, these are the constants, and constants always commute. So okay, so there is no operators. I have added. There are not some numbers. I know that uh, because uh, the, uh, there are many uh, listeners from uh, outside the countries. Uh, there are there are numbers. There are some numbers. They are not commuting that are defined as Grassmann numbers. If you are interested, I think you must note there are some numbers that is. The uh, non-commuting number that are defined as the uh, Grassmann numbers, but you are not uh, you are studying the simple quantum mechanics, not quantum field theory or advanced level. Okay, so uh, it is the topic of the undergraduate level, so that's why we are considering that the everything is a commuting here. Okay, because there is no operator, so that all numbers are a commuting. Okay, because no operator, uh, you may see that there is no operator. So when you multiply exponential with this constant. Okay, they will be add. Okay, so so you will get uh, so uh, I think uh, I must remove it. Okay. okay. I am multiplying uh, this uh, uh, this with this. I mean that is one. So. Uh, So this p will become uh, exponential. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the p t naught, and that will become uh, exponential of minus eta h cut p minus t naught c q cut t cut. Okay, this is not defined as q cut, but not q. Actually, in lattice we write not q, not t. Mean that is not function of q, not not function. Of. So if uh, if for you uh, you are uh, habitual to write your documents in the lattice, then the, the command will be used not uh, Microsoft Word or Office. Then your command command will be uh, not q and not t. Okay, so not q, not t. And uh, and you are multiplying with this, okay? When you are multiplying, this will be uh, add, okay? Uh, two pi n iota. May I add it? Okay. Have you got it? I mean, uh, actually, this is multiplying, and uh, if uh, these are commutating after multiplying, they will be add. Okay. So this, that's why I have added the power. Okay. Okay, I think I have already explained in the previous lectures. Too. Okay, so when you have added this, uh, so one one minute. You are confusing yourself. Okay, uh, actually, what I I have done. Okay. I have done that. I have multiplied with the one. One is nothing. Okay, and this is equal to this. So they are two exponential. That is multiplying. Account. If they are not commuting, they will be added. That's third. Right. Okay. Got it? Huh? Simple multiplying. 
वन है ना वन को किसी चीज से मल्टीप्लाई करें देर इज नो चेंज इन फेज टू पाई एन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग वन सर्कल दैट विल टू पाई एन यू नो दैट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग वन सर्कल दैट विल बी इक्वल टू दी सेम द सेम पॉइंट ओके यस तो मीन इफ यू हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ठीक है इफ दैट इज वट इज दैट आफ्टर रीचिंग टू पाई एन If this is zero, zero will be equal to two pi. ठीक है, so that's uh, exponential is like a circle. Cos, ठीक है, so cos uh, exponential is like a circle. Okay, two pi and that after completing this, this will be the same. ठीक है, so so uh, this will be exponential and uh, actually if uh, I write this in the form of uh, this this exponential will become uh, okay i am interested to take this as a common okay because uh, i want to make a time why i will explain okay uh, so if i take this uh, function as a common okay and um, what is that i take common that is minus eta h tan i have taken the common okay and uh, c q cut uh, sorry not okay not q not t c is not function of the q as well as the t if we take the common then that will become a t minus t not okay i have taken the common so that will be. and plus Two pi n. Okay, eta goes to eta. Divide eta divided by eta will be cut, and this will become a c q cut p cut. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, you are right. Uh, here will be a chart. Yes, and that. Um, uh, no, because. Uh, yeah. Minus one eta. Yes. Okay. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. You are right. There must be a minus sign. Yes, because uh, eta will be cancel. Eta minus one become a minus. Yes, you are right. Uh, one minute please okay if uh, this may be a plus minus theek okay? hai okay if i take minus okay then this will become a okay you are right at subtract both are possibility that's it अच्छा आप प्लस ही करना चाह रहे हो चलो प्लस कर एंड दैट इज डिपेंड अपॉन यू बिकॉज दैट विल बी नॉट टू मच अफेक्ट ऑन दी ठीक है बट आई थिंक इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड डीपली देन यू मस्ट टेक इट एज ओके एक्चुअली टू पाई प्लस हो या माइनस हो दैट इज टू फार बोथ ओके सो इफ आई कंसिडर दैट यू मे राइट दैट बिकम ओके that may become one. okay i think now it's clear okay no confusion point and that two it is too far plus 2 pi n and it is too far minus 2 pi n. mean number number n may be a plus number n may be a minus number okay yes so uh, that will be too far both okay so okay if this is a time this is time and time minus uh, this is uh, delta t mean change in time this is time okay and what is this if this is a time and what will be this 
the things which repeat after some time that will be defined as the things which repeat itself after some time that time will be defined as this is a time okay this is time this will also a time because that is active okay time plus time this time is not affecting on this value the things which repeat after some period of time that will be defined as time period yes so this will be a because it is repeating so that will be a time period so that will be a if this is a time then that will be a time period okay got it okay and this will be a you usually write the t as a capital t okay okay so uh, and you know that time period is always equal to 2 pi n divided by in ways of mechanics course you have uh, uh, already said it that that time period will be equal to angular velocity okay yes okay uh, so and this equal to this equal to plus minus uh, 2 pi n okay h cut uh, c q cut t cut okay and because uh, so this will be equal to uh, this means 1 by omega is equal to h cut uh, uh, c q not t not yes and the uh, it means actually c is q cut t cut that is actually the h cut uh, okay sorry uh, 2 pi omega sorry not omega sorry, this uh, this a uh, 2 pi divided by omega sorry i was wrong 2 pi divided by omega so that will be a n h cut this will be n h cut and h cut uh, omega so this uh, c is actually this okay have you got it so, so that is very simple i know that is uh, very simple because you, maybe you have uh, studied it that is maybe uh, that is a uh, repeating and boring for you because maybe you studied it in mmp okay mmp one but maybe i think uh, mostly it is not possible that will be boring Okay. so this will be a uh, this uh, i know acha okay one thing more they are if you think uh, like a fine test or a, like a, a, a student a good student so c c is a, c is one thing c is constant with respect to q not constant with respect to time may yeah, c is not changing with respect to time and the position n is number h cut is plus constant that is constant angular frequency angular velocity may be a variable or a but if c is constant then every number is constant so this will be also constant so is mean the uh, time the solution of time independent should uh, sorry time dependent should uh, sorry so this means the particle moving in a uh, particle related to the Uh, Schrodinger wave equation will be move with constant angular velocity, and constant angular velocity is defined as uniform angular velocity. Okay, so it means the particle or every particle related to the Schrodinger wave equation that will be a, a, a uni, uh, that will be a, a perform a angular uh, sorry uniform angular velocity. This question, this uh, this is also the possible question. Okay, so. so uh the answer is that uh since of uh, uh, 
a sensor and an edge cut is constant. And on a number, edge cut is a class constant. This implies that a mega, which is a C Q cut T cut divided by N H will be also function of Q cut and T cut. Mean independent from uh, not function of Q, not uh, neither uh, function of Q, neither function of T. Mean that will be constant with respect to position as well as I mean, you may be say that the constant with respect to position as well as time is that will be uniform. So angular velocity will always be uniform. Okay. The particle, whatever that particle, that will um, move with the uh, uh, that will be perform a uh, that will perform a, a uniform angular velocity. Okay, so angular velocity will be uniform. Okay, okay. Up till yet, this is okay. Good. Now, if we go to the if you we come to the second equation, if uh, only only one minute, only one, only one minute. Okay, so one. now. We consider consider equation two. Okay. If I say that this is a uh, Hamilton operator, okay. If I say that this Hamilton operator is applying on this, okay. According to if we consider that Hamilton operator applying on a. Uh, uh, I define that that is H operator. Okay, this is H operator. Okay, if this Hamilton operator is applying on a Q, and this is giving a C independent with respect C, is, now this is angular velocity. Okay, Q and T. You may no not uh, yes. C is uh, nine. C is N H cut omega C is N H cut omega. Okay, and uh, this uh, function of Q. Okay, and eigenvalue of H is N H cut. Yes, you are right. But H is Hamiltonian, and its eigenvalue is other G. H is Hamiltonian and its uh, eigen value is energy. Okay, because its eigen value is energy. So uh, as H operate on Q, Q that must give the energy and that. Okay. If I say this, uh, this equation is uh, x, and uh, this equation is y. By comparing x and y, okay. So, if you compare the x and y, only one minute. Please. Okay, please. So, if we compare the x and y. You will get. We will not solve the question two. Okay, okay, for today. But uh, when we compare uh, by comparing x and y, what you will get e equal to e equal to n h cut omega, and that is that omega is. Uh, angular velocity that is not function of time that is uniform. Okay, okay. It means this n is uh, again n is constant. H is constant. So energy is it mean energy is also that is equal to this energy is also q and t. Mean 
your energy will be also a concern the, the energy will be uh, uh, uniform okay and um, one they are, you are getting two things one energy will be n h cot omega and that will be independent from the position as well as the time so for uh, today it is uh, uh, it is enough okay okay so uh, we will discuss uh, the next the next lecture